Hey everyone, it's Merlina and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a little different from my usual. I know a lot of you are probably here for fitness and wellness videos, but I will be incorporating anthropology into my channel as well, starting with this one. This is a really fun video. It's actually gonna be a cookie excavation and it's a really fun activity to do whether you're an adult or you have kids and you wanna do that with them. In this video, I've definitely condensed it. The original excavation was about an hour long and if you wanna watch the full video, it is on my channel as well. I paired it with some classical music so it can be relaxing and interesting to watch. But this is a very condensed version in which I walk you through my process, so I hope you enjoy. So let's start with the tools you'll be needing. You'll need a cookie with bits of something in it. I got chocolate chip, but you can do raisin, nuts, maybe a mix of things, so you can have different artifacts. I also have paper clips to excavate with. You can use toothpicks or other tools, but this is what I had to work with. And lastly, I have a brush to clean up and a pencil to track. To begin, I'm putting the cookie on grid A. You can find this worksheet in the description, and then using the numbers and letters on the axes, I'm tracing the cookie, including its artifacts, onto grid B. Once I'm done with that, I'm taking my paper clips and beginning to dig. I'm going slowly and carefully so I don't break my artifacts. This video is in fast forward motion and I will be skipping ahead to the point where I got my first artifact out of the soil. Like I mentioned earlier, the excavation took about an hour so I had to cut it back. So this is the point where I got my first artifact out and I labeled its location on the lower grid. Look at that beautiful piece of chocolate. At this point, the cookie got too tempting, so I decided to take a little snack break. I know I probably shouldn't be eating around the dig site, but the cookies were just too good to resist. What can I say? The next minute or so is just me doing some more excavating and then finally I got a huge artifact out of the soil, aka the cookie. It looked like a giant chocolate chunk, but I do think it was just a few of them that were stuck together, so stay tuned for that. Here, I just wanted to show you the artifacts that broke. Toward the middle, the chocolate started melting. It was really hard to keep the pieces together. So these little pieces unfortunately broke off, but I guess that happens. Mm -hmm. 
Okay guys, this is the huge chunk of chocolate I was telling you about. How amazing does that look? By the way, the best part of this experiment is that you can actually eat the artifacts when you're done with them. So definitely an enjoyable thing to do. At this point, I did skip forward a bit more and you can see all the artifacts that I got out of the soil. I have circled them here with these red markers. And that is the excavation. Once again, if you wanna watch the full thing, you can find the link in the description. This was such a fun activity to do. Like I said, the best part is you get a fun and delicious treat once you're done, or in my case, during the excavation, because I have no patience. But if you wanna try it for yourself, go ahead and click on the worksheet link in the description and have some fun. Before I go, I'm gonna ask today's question of the day. You can leave your answers in the comments. What food would you like me to excavate next? Let me know in the comments, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.